The pandemic has hit Taiwan's economy, and many young people are still struggling to recover from the blow. But some have found innovative ways to follow their dreams and make big things happen. Today, we look at the inspiring story of Wu Boxin. The 26-year-old cameraman opened his own Thai curry restaurant during the pandemic. Despite suffering a traffic accident just as he opened his business, the young entrepreneur is going from strength to strength. Fresh slices of beef are placed in a frying pan and sautéed. While they're simmering, the chef fills a bowl with rice before spooning Thai green curry onto the medium rare beef. At the age of 26, Wu Bo Xian runs this entire restaurant alone. In less than five minutes, a steaming bowl of green curry and rice is served. This is the special green curry as well as the light chilli flavoured red curry and yellow curry with ginger and medicinal herbs. Thai curry gets a Taiwanese twist. Wu and his business partner developed these recipes over five months last year. I was eating curry every single day at that time. Last year, while the pandemic was more serious, all of our events and shoots and cases all got postponed. The days of the Level 3 alert are still painful to think about. Wu is a professional cameraman, but COVID shut down his crew and left him with no income. That's when he decided to start a new business with a friend. Many restaurants were shutting down at the time and venue rents were cheap, allowing him to open this restaurant, paying rent of less than 30,000 NT a month. Lots of restaurants had shut down. A crisis can also be a turning point. At that time, the rents had to be falling because they wanted to get new people in. So we thought it could be an opportunity. Although he doesn't have a culinary education, Wu thought he could succeed with Thai curry, which he's always been good at making at home. But the best laid plans of mice and men go off to rye. Two days before the restaurant's big opening, Wu was in a traffic accident. I took two months off. We only started operating officially in November. In that time, commodity prices went up again. We couldn't possibly raise the prices straight after opening the restaurant. Just the beef itself had risen in price by 30 to 40 percent. Wu was shocked to find his profits wouldn't cover inflation. But the restaurant didn't put up prices, instead absorbing the inflated prices of ingredients. Wu took his own photos of the dishes to advertise on delivery platforms and increase their exposure by offering an online buy one get one free offer on drinks. After joining delivery platforms, they went from selling 10 to 20 bowls of curry a day to more than 50. If you have an opportunity and an idea, the sooner you start your own business, the more effect it will have on you. Now working both as a chef and as a cameraman, Wu is hopeful he can earn enough to pay back his startup debts. He says young people with a wish shouldn't be put off by the fear of failure, but give their dreams a shot.